Hey, 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 this is In Dragons with In Dragons Reacts. Today's feature presentation is season three of Warrior. The uh, television series based off of the screenplay and the writings of Bruce Lee, of course. Today's episode is called No Time for Fucking Chemistry. And I've been digging it so far. The third season is uh, right on, right on. Been getting, you know, the action is heavy and hot. You know, some spicy, some spicy things going on through through some of the characters. Some, you know, juicy bits of, of intrigue and, and stuff like that going down. So, let's uh, get our adult beverages and our little snacks and check out Warrior Season 3, Episode 3, No Time for Fucking Chemistry. Let's get it. Yeah. I'm Special Agent Mosley. This is Special Agent Donaldson. We're with the United States Secret Service. Your dead friends were printing counterfeit bills in here. We need people who specialize in this kind of work. Someone local, someone we can control. What's the matter? Afraid I'll beat your ass. Oh, you can't win a war without getting a little bloody on the hey. We're looking for someone named of Lee. I'm the one man who can keep you from being dragged back in chains. Out in Sonoma, Nellie and I may actually have a chance at something. The federal Let's government see. wishes to build a railroad. From my vineyard. This land is not for sale. Going hey, to the long seat is the only path forward for Chinatown. So where's your press? We're in business. This one's a little touched. You just noticed? Guys, quit yeah, yeah. fucking around. This is serious. Don't worry. The chop looks good. Just stand there, look pretty. I'll do the talking. It looked good in our basement. But ripping off Happy Jack is a different fucking story. Yeah, if this deal goes good. sideways, I'm fucking blaming you. What the fuck are you about to goes do? sideways, it won't matter. I hope you China I mean, didn't come to ask for credit. Because you put me in a very difficult position the last time you asked me to hold on to your shit. We don't mind your cash flow issue. We'd be very much appreciate you holding on to our product for us. He ain't interested in your appreciation. You got our money? Beijing code. This covers our last order. I know next one. Don't give the counterfeit Just pill. extra for your trouble. Yeah, they know that shit counterfeit. What are you doing here, Chow? Hmm? You're running with the whole way now. I make invest now. Investments. <laughs> Things must be worse than I thought. <laughs> like I said, I'm on a cash flow issue. The cops are squeezing us. We have it all worked out now. We're gonna end up murdering motherfuckers if they don't get their way. The street. <clears throat> I guess you do. Douglas, you're back. Okay. The work is never done, it seems. Is there a problem with your wine? 
I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. No, not at all. Might be your best vintage yet. I just came by to see if you'd reconsidered my offer. I thought I made my position clear. You did, you did, but I wouldn't be where I am today without believing there's always a deal to be made. Couldn't help noticing you have a lot of Chinese girls working. Oh, out. boy. Here we what go. It? Well, it's just that some folks, not me, mind you, but some folks around here might surmise that this place was some kind of brothel. But not you. Of course, you're quite familiar with the genuine article. Oh, damn. I blame the politicians. They've got everyone all riled up with this page act business. Well, you know me. I never much cared what other people think, least of all politicians. Get the hell off my land. Yep. <laughs> Get the fuck off my land, motherfucker. And now that motherfucker will be underhanded with his tactics now. Best believe. So this cop knows you wanted for murder. And instead of arresting you, he wants to deputize you. That's the gist of it. it. Must be nice to be white. You're not considering it, are you? You're considering it. If I help him, we can finally stop looking over our shoulders. Have you looked in the mirror lately? As long as we're together, honey. We're always going to be looking over our shoulders. You Man, said you want to stay in San Francisco. This is how we do it. No more bounty hunters. And a cop living in my bar. How do you think that's going to play? Hmm. That badge isn't just bad for business. It's bad for you. The attack on Leong was a desperate act of cowardice by Mu Chen. But thanks to Kong Pak, his plot failed. The surviving members of the Three Brothers Tong will be sworn in soon. These men betrayed us. How can we ensure their loyalty? Kong Pak, you know these men. What do you think? Mu Chen ruled by fear. Now that he's gone, his hatchets will fall in line. They will proceed as planned. Damn, she is just amassing all sorts of fucking power. She's becoming more Western than It was a gift from Eliza. She invited me to an art gallery. You're starting to spend a lot of time in the pond. Just enough time to look after our interests. It's a risk. But a calculated one. I should come with you. You're not safe out there alone. It's not a meeting with the rival Tong. I'll be fine. Hmm. Besides, your presence will only make it harder to gain their trust. Agent Mosley. I take it you know Mr. Lee? Only by reputation, which does you no favors. Coming from this outfit, I take that as a compliment, sir. If you're done fawning over each other, maybe you could do us a favor and round up the Chinatown squad? Chief? Yes, sir. Agent Mosley has tracked the counterfeiting operation to San Francisco. We have reason to believe the men running it are headquartered in Chinatown. Which is why we'd like your squad to test the local currency as you make your rounds. A single drop is all it takes to ferret out a thief. If the bill is legal tender, the iodine won't leave a mark. We're trying to keep the chinks from slaughtering one another. There's no time for fucking chemistry. You told me you were done with police work. I was. I will be again, as soon as this is over. Tom. 
what's the plan? Besides insulting my men. Moses says the original crew was buying weapons from a Chinaman. I figured I'd start by paying a visit to Mr. Wang Chao. Well, Chao's not much of a fan of yours. Or maybe I should come along and help smooth things over. I, I appreciate that, but, um, that might muddy the waters. I need to do this my way, Bill. Well, shit, Lee. You gonna need some help, bro. Well, All right. In my case, um, <clears throat> stay safe, Agent Lee. Uh, Freddy can't promise that. Well, then, just for fuck's sake, stay alive, huh? Right. But look at her. Can you imagine living in a log cabin with nothing but dirt for a floor? Nothing to relieve yourself into but a wooden bucket. Actually, I can. Sorry. God, I must sound so entitled. Not at all. Well, you are. Just but... American. Hey. Is the artist here? Who knows? Nobody comes here for the art. They come here to see and be seen. And to drink. Thank you. Who brought the chat girl? It feels like I'm the one hanging on the wall. Don't mind them. They're just jealous. You wear that dress better than they ever could. Well, dear. If you wanted to cause a stir, you've certainly done it. Not my intention. But a nice fringe benefit. <laughs> <laughs> my Ling, this is my husband, Bernard. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Eliza hasn't stopped talking about you all week. She says you're quite the businesswoman. I've made some good investments. But hardly the sort that would impress a banker of your stature. Your firm finances some of the largest construction projects in the city. You've done your research. May I say your English is flawless? <laughs> well, yours isn't too bad either. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you did not tell me she was funny. She's funny. <laughs> Cheers. Good evening, Mrs. Strickland. Sorry, do I know you? My name's Dylan Larry. I need a quick word. Leary, champion of the working men. I hear you've been causing quite a stir down in city council. I'm here on behalf of Linda Pierce. So now the city council's got you breaking legs for them, is that it? I don't doubt you're a dangerous man, Mr. Leary. But if Pierce went to all the trouble to pay you to threaten me, I would at least think he told you I never travel alone. Must have slipped his mind. That's too bad. Either way, I hope it's becoming clear to you. I'm not the man you threaten, Mr. Leary. I'm the man with whom you make a deal. Sticky. It's all Sean about to get him some sticky. He's about to get his ass some sticky. Let's eat these uh tater chips real quick. Okay, I'm good. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Have a good night. Do you have fun playing with your wood? <laughs> Bulls are in our bowl. The logs are puffing up their chests. 
Fuck the long Z. Yeah, fuck the long Z. It's been tough. I won't deny it. But we're the motherfucking hop way! Yeah. Yeah. And there aren't enough cops in San Francisco to stop us from running our business. We're back in the molasses game. Stronger than ever. So get drunk. Get sticky. Get some sticky. Because tomorrow, we get back to being the baddest fucking dog in Jonathan! <laughs> Your boss seems happy. <sighs> yeah. Do you know what? Printing was supposed to be a solution, not the solution. Yeah. We should be using the chop to buy more soldiers, not. not booze and wars. We should make your moves outside of, 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 of Chinatown. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, my man probably gonna crack that case. One for the tailored suits, I'd almost believe this whole poultry setup. Former officer Lee. I thought you were Barbary Coast problem now. Not a lot of room here for contraband, Chow. Chinatown squad make business bad for Chow. Turn over me. Good. Then you won't mind if I ask you a few questions. Secret service. Too bad. I almost like you for a second. <laughs> I'm looking into a Counterfeiting operation? Somebody printing American greenback? This man, he was friends with your husband? Mm -hmm. I don't think Douglas Strickland has friends. But he convinced Fred to invest in his construction business just as the city was taking off. And they made a fortune together. And now he wants your land. You know, he used to want me to. I don't think he ever got over the rejection. At least he have good taste. <laughs> He can do this. Don't worry. Douglas likes to puff out his chest, but he knows my lawyers can tie him up for years. He'll find another route for his railroad. I don't think so. Hey, I won't let anything happen to our girls. I'm quite certain they're gonna keep on doing something. He still time. want you. What's up? Nothing. I just thought we'd be careful. We are. You, no, you're not. Muscle and molasses, that's what we agreed on, not flooding the street with fake chop. Okay, so you don't want me roughing up old men, and you don't want me giving them money either. I guess I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, do I? No, that's, that's, that's not, not what I'm not saying. What saying. Oh, really? Oh, God damn, You sound man. like you're calling me out. Hey, guys, oh. come on, take it easy. I'm not out here swinging my dick for no reason. Yeah, I'm you washing are. the money. 
Businesses buy inventory with the chop that I give them. Customers buy their shit and real money flows back into our pockets. And if a few fucking onions think I'm God's gift, even better. Get me? Fuck, man. I know you're trying to help, but let me handle the big picture shit, all right? You just make sure that girl keeps playing. Because right now, that's all that matters. Shadow puppets. Ain't that some shit? Love shadow puppets. My father used to tell us this one at bedtime. Do you know it? Uh, I didn't really have bedtime stories growing up. That's Legong, God of Thunder. Jade Emperor knew that he was an angry god. So he gave him an axe and taught him how to conjure thunder. The problem was, when he made his thunder, the skies got dark and he couldn't always see what he was doing. One day, there was a young girl named Dian Moon throwing rice into the river. In his blind rage, Le Gong accidentally struck her down. He killed an innocent girl. Jade Emperor was furious. So he resurrected Dian Moon, making her this powerful goddess. And as punishment, Legong had to marry her so she could help him. And she held mirrors in the sky, making lightning so he could see. And that is why lightning always comes before thunder. It has a happy ending. How is that happy? Well, think about it. I mean, love story. You know, she made the thunder monster better. Better at killing. <laughs> and it's not like she had a choice in the matter either. <laughs> Nobody gets a choice. Or maybe you just don't like the choice you made. Right. I saw you at the riot. Yeah. You came in like some avenging angel. Here to save us. But then you come to my shop with young June to collect and... <laughs> I realize you're not an angel. There you go. Or a warrior, you're just... Some thug. It's a magic man. Sorry to let you down. Well, maybe it's not too late. <sighs> For what? For you to choose differently. Right. You, you smile. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> If anybody had a problem with that, you can kiss my ass. Okay, is the pipe authentic or an affectation? What's an affectation? <laughs> well, you seem pretty fresh. How long ago did you cross? A few months ago. To be a hatchet man? No. I've been in a tong ever since my father kicked me out. I was 14. Probably getting a backstory from you. Where's your family? My mom was indentured to a Commodore in the Royal Navy. He traveled a lot, so we did too. After she died, he didn't have any use for me. Been on my own ever since. Mm, some sad ass stories, yeah. 
It must be hard to be alone in all those places. It's different for artists, I think. We're more accepting than most. <laughs> Besides, you can't be an immigrant if you never stay in one place. Lyric, I've been waiting to hear from you. Did you speak with Mr. Strickland? We spoke. And? It didn't go your way. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Hey! I asked you a question! <laughs> God! 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 This isn't your house, you pasty fuck. It's mine. And when you're in my house, you show me some fucking respect. Oh, son of a bitch! I'll have you arrested! I suppose you need a cop then. Owen, get over here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's the problem? Yeah, cuz. This man attacked me. I see nobody. Any witnesses? Nah, what do you mean? Good. Of course there are witnesses. I'll be good, bro. Hmm? We don't see shit. Oh, shit. Get gone. Go, go.
Secret Invasion, Kong, Kong Skull Island, and this this episode of Warrior will be on Patreon for your for your for your viewing pleasure. Alright? So check me out on Patreon. Support the small streamers and small content creators, please. Check me out. That'll do it for me. But I'll see y'all when I see you. This is In Dragon with In Dragons React. And love, peace, and hair grease, and all that jazz. I'm out of here. Peace. Yeah.